Welcome everyone to the Road to the Final Four, a Capital Camps Sports Center special. I am your host, Adam Sprinkles Brahms. Round one of Capital Camps March Madness is in the books and we have plenty of storylines for you today. In the first round alone, we had blowouts, surprises, some very close matchups, and even some upsets along the way. Joining me today is our outstanding group of commentators, also known as members of our year-round camp team. Ari Paskoff, let's start with you. If you look at the chaos that was round one, what are some of the storylines that you're seeing? Thanks, Adam. Chaos is a great way to say it. There are lots of storylines this round, and I'll start with one near and dear to my heart. We had a very close matchup with Shabopchins and Mexican lasagna, my favorite. I was really pulling for Mexican lasagna, but I know it's polarizing. It's the meal Capital Camps deserves, but not the one it needs right now. Do you know that on our end of camp surveys, just as many people list Mexican lasagna as their favorite meal as do their least favorite meal? Apparently, the safer choice of Shabopchins was where people went. We all Food went 11 and 5 in this first round. By contrast, you look at the activities like archery and fishing, they only went 1 and 13. I guess that's what happens when you have one of the major conferences go up against one of the smaller conferences. Deb Silver, you've been tracking the brackets that people submitted. Of the choices people made on the brackets, what stood out for you? Apple turnovers beat Camp Show 75 to 25, but in the bracket selections, 92% of submissions went for Apple turnover. 92! You have to wonder what that says about voting relative to the brackets and who people thought would actually win. Wow, Deb, that is incredible. You know, we always ask ourselves in the office, what drives behavior? Specifically, do the things people like and the things people say they like match up? I think it's clear that the answer is, we don't know yet. Lori Mackey, you are at our interactive bracket wall. Tell us what you're looking at here. Well, Adam, we had a variety of storylines throughout this first round, including several close races. In the red bracket, we saw Zaman Kef. That's our evening fun time. They just eked out a victory against a very difficult opponent in Chicken Nuggets. This one is particularly interesting because Chicken Nuggets have been a mainstay tradition at Capitol Camps for years. Zaman Kef has only recently come on the scene, but they came on like a storm. We'll see if the youth and vitality of ZK can carry it deeper into the tournament. In the gold bracket, we had two longtime stalwarts face off. Ropes versus Give Bessie Gip. You know, early on in the voting, it seemed like it was much more even, but eventually we saw the end of summer all camp classic pull away and finish with the majority of the votes. In the blue bracket, we had two newbies, both vying for an opportunity to advance. First, we had the Whiffle, what it feels like. That came on two summers ago, and this past year, Cinnamon Roll Sunday the hit of 2017. Cinnamon Roll Sunday ran away with it. We'll see what happens next round when the sweet treat faces off against Summertime Forever. As we heard from Deb, that was a surprise win. And you know what they say about this tournament. It's all about who's hot at the right time. And right now, Summertime Forever is hot. Finally, in the green bracket, we had the closest matchup of the first round, 51% to 49%. Wow! Hebrew man narrowly upsetting the ever popular nine square in the air. We'll give this one to the older crew as Hebrew, as Hebrew man has been around for more than a decade. But so they're not gonna be able to rest easy. They have another tough matchup coming up against Apple Turnovers, which won easily in the first round. Certainly a lot to think about all around. When we come back from the break, we take a quick look ahead to round two. Stay with us. This Capital Camp special is brought to you by the 30th anniversary celebration. Join campers, staff, alumni, parents, supporters, and more on Sunday, June 17th at Capital Camps for a day of fun. This day will feature all the great camp activities you know and love. What better way to spend your Father's Day than swimming, flying in the ropes course, enjoying a barbecue lunch, and more? Register now at capitalcamps.org 30. See you on June 17th. And we're back. Thanks again for joining us. My name is Adam Sprinkles Brahms. We're here to preview now round two. What storylines are we watching? Lori, let's start with you. Thanks, Adam. I'm going to be paying attention to the Shabobshans versus Curly Fries matchup in the blue bracket. As Ari pointed out earlier, 
Shabbatchins came on as a huge surprise, while Curly Fries, they had an easier first round matchup against Skip Around the Room. Keep your eye on this. Could Shabbatchins be the Cinderella story of this tournament? As one of those powerful food categories, however, Curly Fries really could make a move in this matchup. So you're going to be watching Shabobshin's Curly Fries. Deb Silver, let's go to you. What are you seeing in the green bracket? Yeah, so there's a powerhouse in the green region matchup. Friday Night Song Session versus Oreo Dream Bars, two fan favorites. Don't be fooled by Oreo Dream Bars' ninth seed. They are really a force to be reckoned with. It's a difficult pick between one of the favorite camp desserts and one of the favorite parts of the camp week. So uh, it's, it's going to be close. I'll tell you that. Okay, so you're looking at a 1-9 matchup. Ari, you're looking at another 1-9 matchup. Tell us about that. That's right. The gold bracket 1-9 is big. Sing versus Pizza Bagels. I'll be watching here is how Sing bounces back. You know Sing only won by 60% in the first round? Going up against number one seed at Pizza Bagels is no easy task. Could they be the Cinderella story of this year's tournament? Back to you, Adam. You know, while we're watching all these matchups unfold, don't forget that you and Holton have an important role to play. Voting is now open for round two, and we encourage you to visit the bit.ly link on your screen now to vote for this round. It closes Sunday night at 9 p.m., so don't delay. On behalf of the entire studio team, and particularly Lori Mackey, Deb Silver, and Ari Paskoff, this is Adam Sprinkles-Brahms. Thanks for watching the Capital Camp's March Madness special. Good night.